And hello YouTube, this is GS Mouse Smart, and today we're going to be doing another tutorial on GIMP today. And today's tutorial on GIMP will be teaching you how to make curved text. So first thing we're going to do is open up GIMP. Now be aware, I'm running on a Windows 7 with a uh, Mac OS X theme, and we're going to be using GIMP 2.8, the new version. You can download GIMP 2.8 on the official GIMP website. So we still have GIMP 2.7. I'd suggest you get the new GIMP 2.8. So once this opens, we can start. All right, there we go. Now, basically what curved text is, well, I'm going to show you what curve text is. So we make a new file, file new, you can make really anything, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to zoom in once, because I like to have it like this. And we're just going to type something. Let's make this size 20. Okay, so I wrote YouTube community here. I don't know, just something random. Now, basically, what curved text will do instead of having it as a straight, let me use a, there we go. Instead of having it as a straight line like this, curved text will make it go like this, or you can make it go like that, or you can make it go like that, or like that. That's basically what a curved text is. Um, I think that's what it's called, curve text. I mean, I'm not sure what else it is, or what else it could be called. But that's basically what we're doing. And the way we're going to do this is by using our paths tool, which is this tool right here underneath the ellipses tool. If you have the layout like this, but it'll be near the foreground select tool and near the eyedropper tool. So you click the path tool, and basically what you want to do is you want to click where you want to start your curve. So I'm going to start mine right here, and then you want to go to the spot where you end your curve. I'm going to end mine about right here, and you can move it a little bit to make it straight if you want. And now what you want to do is you want to uh, select the middle part right here, and then move it up like that. And you may have to play around with this a few times because it's not going to be perfect. And you'll see what I mean about with that. Okay, so once we have that, I'm going to make a new layer. Uh, I suggest you make a new layer as well. You don't have to though. I'm just going to make a new layer because I like to have new layers. After we have our path here, what we're going to do is we're going to get our text tool again, the big A. You type in your text anywhere on the new on the new layer. And then we're going to right click the text layer and then click text along path. Then you you're, you're going to get this outline here. Now what you want to do is you want to delete the text layer here so you have the outline left over and then what you do is you go to your paths tool and you can see that your outline here is selected and okay, now your paths uh, section is in this part of the panel and what you want to do is you want to click the bucket tool select any color you want and go up to select, click from path, and you'll see that your path is now selected. All you have to do now is click the bucket tool inside your path. 
then you can go to the path section uncheck this you can hide your path now and then you can go to select none and there is your curve text now like I said you have to play around with the, with the uh, with the paths tool to make it a perfect circle or to make it a perfect curve but what you can do if it comes out like this what you can do since this is a new layer you see this is a new layer since we did this on top of a new layer what you can do is you can get the uh, rotate tool and you can just rotate it oops that's too much you can just rotate it like this and that's a little bit like it. Now, as I say, you have to you have to play around with with the paths tool. You know, you have to try different um, you know, different types of heights and different types of you know directions. Because I mean, the, this is a game. This is not like Photoshop or anything where it's gonna be perfect. The basic the point is you want you want to make sure that these two poles are are standing up straight like that and you want to have a perfect curve for the arc here if you have that it should come out good now, sometimes it's not gonna come out perfect but like I said if you if you do this with like a few times you will probably get good results and this doesn't take that very doesn't take very long to do this it takes like probably 30 seconds to make a path and then you know type in your text and then click you know from path so that's basically it that's how to make curved text I'm get rid of this. So there you go. Um, I hope everyone understood this video. I hope this helped. And thank you all for watching. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I have plenty of other uh, videos. If you, if you want. Another thing I want to add real quick, if you want to uh, customize this text now, like add a gradient or something, all you got to do is uh, click your new layer, which is this right here, and you can right click and then click alpha to selection. And you'll see that it, it gets selected and you can just uh, use a gradient here if you want or you can use your own color. Oh yeah, that was stupid. There we go. And then click select none. So there you go. You can still do everything you can do with regular text. You can still add a border. You can still use Gaussian effects. You can still use gradients. All that. You can still do everything you want. Um, all you have to do is just go to layer, right click, alpha to selection, and then work with it. You know, I have I have uh, other text tutorials. So if you want to uh, look those up, you can look at my channel. But that's basically it. As I said, thank you for watching. If you'd like to uh, like this video or comment, uh, any feedback will be appreciated. And this is GS Man Smart, and I'm back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.